Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. In today's video, I'm so excited because it is gonna be more home decor. I feel like I need to change the intro of my videos now to like, welcome back to more home decor or something like that because that's pretty much all these videos have been just centered around home, decorating our house. You guys, I'm just addicted. I hope this isn't like getting old or getting repetitive or annoying, but like y'all, I'm just hyped. Like I can't, I can't help it. Like when you get into a new space, all you wanna do is decorate. Like decoration is just on my mind. So I wanted to show you some things that came in the mail, some new pieces that I've purchased and ordered and that I'm just overall excited about. So yeah, we're gonna be putting together some rooms with the new pieces. Some of the rooms are semi put together but need a little bit of tweaking. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, if you're excited to see the pieces that I got, how I decorate them and style them, then please just keep on watching. Okay you guys, so we are gonna start off strong by starting in my office. As you can tell, it's really, really rainy and cloudy, so hopefully the lighting is okay because y'all know I don't have a light fixture up here yet. We need to still hire an electrician to put in some work, but this is my office when you first walk in. If you saw the home tour, this is nothing new, but the rug is, the rug is brand new. I will link this down below. This is a Wayfair find. Really great price, really great quality. You guys, this rug, hold on, let's get a Close up. I'm obsessed with this rug. I, in the last video, told you all that I was thinking about getting a pattern, and I'm so glad that I didn't go with a pattern. I just love how like open and crisp this looks. I cannot wait to do something fun on that back wall, but as of right now, like when you walk in, like, I don't know, something about this is just so like clean to me and just open. I just think the rug looks so good. It's just a really nice material. I don't know how to describe it, but it just, looks way more like luxury than it really is. And yeah, I'm just loving this so much. So the next thing that I got, this blanket is just here because when I'm editing, I get cold. I don't think, I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it here. It doesn't make a difference. This is just like a functional item because <laughs> I'm cold. So this chair, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link this chair and I'm also gonna link something that is very similar. That's more of like a dupe. I think that's what I'm gonna do from here on out, especially when I order things from like restoration hardware or you know some place that's a little bit more expensive I'll link that item but then also link something pretty much identical to this so everyone can shop get some inspiration whatever it is this chair I really really like it's the track arm I don't know the exact name anyway I just said I'll link it and I love that the legs are gold it's like this brass color that matches the hardware on the desk and I think it's just very very I don't know sophisticated it just gives me 30 and thriving vibes and I'm obsessed with it. So yeah, this is the office. This is what it's looking like. It's kind of like a little mini update. I ordered curtains that are gonna be coming in soon and I can't wait to install them and yeah, people not look in on me and I don't see other people like the delivery man can get, it can get a little awkward. People walking their dog can get a little awkward. So I'm excited to have curtains there. But as of right now, this is what it's looking like so far. This is where we are, I'm excited. Okay, so the next piece of furniture that we got is this sofa table. This is a very gray wash um, sofa table. I really like this. I feel like it just completes the, well, I mean, nothing's completed, let's be real, but it just finishes the sofa. Like it doesn't look so bare. I just love the idea of having a table or something behind the sofa to just kind of like finish it. Like it looks more put together, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So my ideas for this sofa table is to obviously, I mean, I'm sure we're all thinking it, put some coffee table books over here, maybe like, I don't know, something fun, maybe like a crystal or two, like something different. I wanna have fun with it and just make it like just very unique and us, just very us. I really like the idea of just like negative space and just things looking very just like open, airy, breathable, not so stuffed with decor everywhere. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. And then from the sofa, you can't even really see it. Ignore the pillows and stuff. We'll straighten that out later. Moving on to the kitchen. You guys, we got new bar stools and I'm literally obsessed with them. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need, I need a new phrase. I can't say literally obsessed for everything. I wish the lighting was different and not so yellow, but you guys. These bar stools are everything. They're so cute. 
Like, I just love the little shape. They just, I don't know, for some reason, I just want to be like, boop, boop. Like, they're just like, boop. They're just so cute. I just really, really like them. So let me pull one out. So you can see, if you follow me on Instagram, I showed you all these. I'm so excited. I just really, really like these. I think they're really, really cute. Again, I will link these, but I will also link something very, very similar. I didn't wanna buy something that you see everywhere. Even though this kind of is like a similar vibe to things that maybe you've seen before, it's not the exact ones. I put my own little twist on it, and I just really, really like these. So you might be thinking, with a lot of my furniture, White, white, why are you getting white? My office chair, white, you have kids, that's not smart. You guys, this type of material is a high performance material. So it's basically an indoor outdoor material is how they describe it. So anything that gets on this, you can just wipe it away. You can easily clean this. It does not hold onto dirt. It's not gonna stain. Like if, and this has happened before because we've obviously been living here. Hi, if you're new, we've been living here. And RG spilt lemonade on this couch and it like balled up. I don't know if you've seen things like that before, if that makes sense, but literally the liquid turned into like a ball and we were able to wipe it off. And then we just wiped it with like a uh, wet um, cloth just to make sure it wasn't sticky. But you guys, it's so easy to clean, I cannot. That in and of itself is just worth it to me. However, if you did not want to get, you know, this couch, these exact bar stools, but you still want white, you can spray Scotch Guard. I heard works. You can hire um, carpet cleaning people to pre-treat your furniture so that it can kind of give it the same effect. So there's different options. You don't obviously have to get this type of material, but I mean, I think it's just, it's worth it for me because I, I like light furniture. I like very light white open, you all know this. <laughs> I don't want anything dark, but since I have kids, I gotta make it work. So this is just the option that we went with. So these are the bar stools. I think they're just so cute. I love the shape. I love that they're just like rounded because everything else is very straight and streamlined. So I wanted to have a little bit of, you know, a little bit of body, a little bit of curve. So I really like these bar stools. And then just an update on the hardware. We, oh, the sweet potatoes, <laughs> we were cooking. Hi, we live here. It is what it is. But okay, so this is the hardware for the kitchen. I showed you all this. I feel like we update you on the hardware in every single video because it is just taking us so long. Like literally we only have one over here. And yeah, so we're gonna get there. We got a couple more um, knobs that came in the mail that we're gonna add. Maybe we'll add them in this video, I don't know. But yeah, we're not done. We still have to do all of those. That one, this one, and these over here, but we're getting there. We've got uppers now. We've got some uppers, which is really exciting, and I think they're just really pretty. So there we are with that. Okay, you guys, and now I'm gonna show you a room that I don't think I have shown since the house tour, and it is our workout room. We call it the workout room because that's the that's what we use it for, but a guest room, you know, whatever. When it's your house, you can kind of make the rooms whatever you want it to be, so for this guest room, we just turned it into a workout room, and this is what it's looking like. So I'm loving it. I feel like it's just the perfect workout studio. I'm really, really excited about this. So I kind of wanted to do like a little tour and show you all around. So we have these mirrors. These mirrors are from Ikea. If you've been following for a while, then you know that we've had these for so long. We tried to do a workout room in our old house, but then I got pregnant with baby number two and we had to change some things around. <laughs> I don't plan on getting pregnant anymore, so this room should probably stay the same. But again, like I said in the house tour video, if we get guests, we can easily just like move this to a different spot in the house and then put like um, a bed, like things to just like make it comfortable for our guests. So yeah, these are the mirrors. It's just like motivating to work out. Like I just, I don't know, I like seeing myself, so <laughs> this is nice. We have our same plant there. This plant is very small, very dinky, but 
it is what it is. It looks, it's fine. For now, it's fine. And then I have my Peloton, my waist trainer because I'm trying to get snatched. <laughs> and then we have this basket over here filled with like workout materials and items like weights and stuff like that. It's, I mean, it's not finished by any means, but so far, so good. Okay, are you guys ready to see the cutest little girl's room ever? Oh my God. I want this room. I'm putting it out there. I want this room. Let me know in the comments after you see it if you want this room too because I'm, I'm low key jealous. Literally, okay, it's not finished. It's not finished. Stay with me. Hold on, let's turn on the light. I know it's not finished. I know. But I still, oh, that's so yellow. What's what's better, this or this? Honestly, I'm just gonna keep it off. <laughs> I can't stand the yellow. Okay, so bear with me on this side. This is her rug. We still have to roll that out. I'm gonna have Rob do that in a minute. But you guys, this side right here is just giving me all the princess vibes. Like, I'm so obsessed with this dresser and mirror combo. I don't know if the camera is doing it justice, but it is seriously so cute. Everything you see here is restoration hardware, but you guys, you could do this with like, any furniture store. This is not anything that's like super duper unique, but I just love how they complement each other. So what you could do is go to like a thrift store or a vintage shop or hey, I don't know, maybe go to your grandma's house because my grandma had a mirror just like this and I want it, but it's in my mom's house and she's like, no, that mirror is mine. But it's very, very similar to this. Vintage, very antique with just like the cutest little dresser. I feel like this dresser is timeless. It's not anything like overly like, whoa, this is different and, and unique because I didn't want it to go out of style, but I just really like how these two complement each other. And I love this little lamp, so, so cute. And here, let's turn it on. There we go with that yellow light, but it is what it is. It's just so cute. Like I, I, I need a different word, but it's just very like, cozy and like, I don't know, I just really like this side. I think it's adorable. I decorated it, so of course I'm gonna think it's cute. So then we just have her chair. We are also going to be raising these curtains. When we first moved in, the uh, movers, I say movers in quotes because you all know that it was like family friends who helped us, but they also move, like they, it's kind of like a side hustle thing. Anyway, so they, we told them we wanted the curtains because we don't have blinds. And that's another thing that I didn't want. I didn't want the blinds similar to what we had in our old house. I just like a more open look. So we decided against the blinds and we were just gonna do curtains or maybe shades in the future, I don't know, or just keep it open, I, I like it. When they install these, they're pretty low. As you can tell, like the curtain, I don't mind a curtain on the floor moment, I really don't. But this one is, it's a little bit long, plus I want the window to look bigger or uh, higher. Like I like that larger window effect that higher curtains give. So that's another thing Rob is gonna do hopefully today if we can convince him he's gonna raise up the curtains and um, I think it's gonna look so much better and we're also gonna roll out her rug it's the same okay it's the same rug from our old house but I bought a new one because we were thinking about getting it cleaned and then the price of cleaning it was the same price as the rug so I was like let me just get a brand new rug and then we sold the other one so we earned money but then it's like we didn't I don't know anyway so yeah <laughs> this will be spruced up a little bit later okay so now walking in to our room. We got new nightstands, which I'm really excited about. The nightstands are the same um, collection as the bed, as our dresser over there. So everything matches, which I usually don't like. I usually like a more mixed match. Oh, you can't even see. Okay, you can see, but it's yellow. I apologize. So I usually don't like uh, matchy matchy furniture. So, but I like this. I feel like it matches. It's a, it's the same set as the bed, but I feel like companies now are doing a better job of not making it look so matchy matchy. But they're like, hey, this set coordinates together. So I really like this. Um, we also got the lamps, which I showed you in a previous video. I showed you these lamps in a previous video. Um, not quite sure if I really updated you all on the bedding. I showed you on Instagram and um, it's from Parachute. I'll try to link it, but it's really soft, really fluffy. Nala's bed is where she sleeps down there. And then this is the dresser that matches. I showed you all this. I updated you all on the space. This is what we have so far. Everything's looking pretty good. I still have to order pompous grass for that vase, but so far, 
so good. Okay, you guys, so I wanna talk about this piece for a little bit because she has a story, she has a history. I never updated you all. I kind of talked about it a little bit in one video, but okay, we have a story time for her, okay? I saw this picture. Okay, first of all, I feel like I need to preface this by saying that like, I know this is gonna sound crazy. I know I'm gonna sound like a psychopath, but I mean, don't we all have a little bit of crazy in us? Like, I feel like there's just a thing. So anyway, I saw this picture on Instagram. I'm not gonna insert the picture because then I'm really gonna look crazy, but there's this fashion blogger that I follow on Instagram. She posted a picture with this and I was obsessed with it. I like, or she didn't post a picture with it, but like she posted a picture in her room and that was in the background. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. That's so glam. Like I'm obsessed, where did you get that? And she never responded, which is fine. Like if you get a lot of comments, like I get it. So I was just like, oh my gosh, I love that. It's so pretty. So. I went, this is crazy, I went pretty much on a manhunt for that dresser. Like I was like clicking and checking like to know it and checking like her blog and being like, well, where is this from? Like I love this so much, like I really want this. And I know you all can probably relate when like you see like one of your like favorite influencers or like bloggers or YouTuber or whoever post things and you're like, oh my gosh, like I really, really want that. And maybe they don't see it and you're like, okay, I have to search on my own and like you can't find it and you're like, no, but please answer me. So anyway, that's where I was. I was like, I love this so much. Like her room was so glam. I kept complimenting her. I'm like, this is like everything. So I uh, found out that it was sold out everywhere. Everywhere, like I mean, I was calling furniture store after furniture store all across the USA. Like I'm not gonna lie, I was on hold with a furniture store in Nevada. You guys, crazy. I know, crazy. Okay, sorry, my phone was ringing. But basically, I um I was a psycho and calling like any furniture store for this chest of drawers. So no one had it, no one had it, and then I found it secondhand in this like random online consignment shop for furniture and I called them I was like oh my gosh do you have it do you have it they're like yes we have it I'm like how's the condition like is it okay like I put my full trust into that person on the phone and I was like you know what I'm just gonna go for it I'm gonna get it because I can't find it any place else I bought it but the thing is they did not ship it I had to hire a completely different, I'm crazy, I'm insane. I had to hire a, a shipper. Like I had to go on this shipping website where you hire people to go pick up things and ship it to your house. I had to hire someone. So I bought the, the chest of drawers, I hired someone to pick it up, and then I had to coordinate with him and the consignment shop on when he was gonna pick it up and when they were available and when, and then they could bring it down. He was like, are there stairs? So I had to call the consignment shop, are there stairs? No, there's no stairs stairs so I had to call the shipper back okay there's no stairs you guys <laughs> I went in I was so determined like that's the thing I don't know if you all like see that side of me ever but like my determination is always on a hundred like I'm on another level like if you want something done I'm gonna get it done like if you need me to find something for you girl I'm gonna find it so I <laughs> I got in contact with the shipper, he got the stuff, everything was good, he was driving down here. I And I still had not really seen it, obviously, like I saw it online, but I didn't see any pictures, I didn't see any video, like nothing. So I was going on a wish and a prayer. So he pulled up at our old house, and he's like, hey, I'm here, I'm here. I'm like, oh my God, let me see it. He like brought it in, he brought it into the garage, he unwrapped it. Y'all, it was perfect, it was beautiful. It looked just like that. I was a happy customer. I gave him a tip. I was like, thank you so much. He came with his mom, and this was before Corona and everything, so she held Briella. She was like, oh my God, so beautiful. Like, shout out to them. Like, if you need somebody to ship you furniture, I got you, I got a plug, because it all worked out, and I was so, so happy. So this is what it looks like. Now that it's in the space, it doesn't match and it kills me, but I feel like this has a story and it's from New York. I don't know if I told you that the consignment shop was in New York. So like, you already know how I feel. So I just can't let her go. Even though she doesn't match, she has a story. She came with an adventure. It was a crazy ride. She's here and she doesn't match, but she belongs. Like if you know what I mean, then you know what I mean. She doesn't match but she belongs. So that's the story of this chest of drawers. I was a psychopath because I saw somebody on Instagram with it and then I had to hire a shipper. <gasps> but I found her 
and that's the story time of how I got this chest of drawers. I'm crazy. Okay, you guys, so we are back downstairs and we're measuring for a TV. Rob is trying to convince me to get the 65 inch. Rob, steady that yeah. measuring tape. Yeah. So this is how big a 65 inch TV would be. Can you move it over to the left so I can kind of visualize it center? This is how big it would be. On camera, it does not look that big. It's gonna be tiny. Okay. okay. What do you mean? No, I meant not like tiny, but it would be like a theater. You know, like when you're watching something, like you see someone on YouTube, and they're watching TV. TVs look really small. Okay, so sorry. Okay, so this is what a 65 would look like. We got a hundred inch media console, which sounds crazy, but it's basically gonna be from here to here, like a media console. Yeah, measure it out. Eight foot four inches. Yeah, that's how big our media console is. So the TV being 65 inches. Okay, so we are going to, Rob, steady. Steady on the reins, Rob. Okay, so we're gonna get this blue tape, tape it off just so I can get a visual of what the TV is going to look like in the space and how big it's going to be. Because right now I'm like, that's kind of big. I might have a gang on. Oh my God. Rob, if it we were up to Rob, Rob. I would have a projector. Oh my God. AK quality, that, that's just We what. don't need that. We don't watch TV. But I would like to watch TV. Okay, we're gonna be we TV people. Sorry, it's crooked, guys, but you know, a TV is a TV, right? <laughs> okay, turn it on. What's on TV? Bro? All right, so today we're gonna have our favorite program to watch: dry paint. You know, you just sit back, kick them feet up. You know, you watch your dry paint on your crooked TV and crooked console, and enjoy life. inch would look like in the space and I, I like it I think that's a good size I feel like it fits I feel like that's a great size actually I might lower it it looks a little bit high my only concern is I mean I don't I don't know I don't know I guess it's not that big of a deal but I was just thinking the fact that we have rectangle 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 like it's starting to look very I don't know I don't know but I like it I think it'll look nice um, we want a TV here, so realistically, this is what it's gonna look like with a TV, but I think I'm gonna lower it. So I think I might lower it like a couple inches so that it's here and not so much space. Like that's a lot of space, which is gonna force me to fill it with unnecessary trinkets or sculptural pieces. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna lower this a little bit, like maybe like here. I think would be a good spot for the TV. I don't know, y'all let me know. I know you will anyway, but let me know. Okay, you guys, so I wanted to show you Briella's room at nighttime, and really just because we unrolled the rug and it's too small. I guess technically it could be, oh, you want a bigger rug too? I guess technically like it could work, like it's fine, it's not that big of a deal, but it doesn't really go under the dresser and it doesn't really go far underneath her crib either. So technically it doesn't really fit. We need a bigger rug or I don't know what we're gonna do, but we'll see. Briella, what do you think? Do you like your rug? Do you remember this from when you were a baby at the old house? <laughs> just looking around. See, I just had dinner, I'm a little delirious and full. But anyway. So this is what her room is looking like so far. We still have to raise the curtains a little bit and um, change out the light fixture and I mean a bunch of other things like spruce it up and really like style it. But this is what we've got so far. I think it's really, really cute. It's really coming together. I can't believe like how different this looks. I obviously wanna do something fun with like her walls but I don't know. I don't want to do wallpaper or anything like that and I did kind of like the shadow box effect in her old room so maybe I'll do that. I don't know. We'll see. 
but so far so good but anyway you guys we are going to end the vlog here i really hope you all enjoyed this video Briella, this is the first time we're ending the vlog together <laughs> what do you think oh bless you <laughs> yeah i want to get down on the rug and play or nurse either one but all right you guys so we're gonna end the vlog here i really hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up can you do thumbs up say thumbs up make sure you subscribe hit that bell notification so you never miss an upload and we me and brie will see you all in the next video oh my gosh can i help you oh here we oh briella you're really about to forget us well, nobody's forgetting. Stand up, stand up. Argy, look. Look at the camera. Nobody's forgetting y'all, okay? Mm -hmm. Come on in on Trying this. Trying to do an outro without us. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got the whole crew That's with right. me whole now. That's right. Whole crew. <laughs> Alright, you guys. So, I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you never miss an upload. And we will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>